Water, it's the lifeblood of all living things, plants, animals, and people. Stretching 370 square miles from Lake Ponderé in northern Idaho to Lake Spokane in eastern Washington, the Spokane Valley Rathdrum Prairie Aquifer, also known as the SVRP Aquifer, is the sole source of drinking water for more than 500,000 residents. And as you can see, our aquifer knows no political boundaries. So just what is an aquifer? Formed from a series of Ice Age floods 10 to 12,000 years ago, our SVRP aquifer is made up of mixed sands, gravels, cobbles, and boulders, all of which provide a natural underground filtration system as the water flows through it. The Spokane Valley Rathdrum Prairie Aquifer is dynamic, with water constantly flowing into and out of the system. In some places, water seeps out of the bottom of the Spokane River and into the aquifer. The spot along the river near Sullivan Road is one place where water flows the other direction, out of the aquifer and into the river. Eventually, some of that water is discharged into the Spokane and Little Spokane River. Ultimately, all of the water flows into Lake Spokane. Water also enters the SVRP aquifer from precipitation, inflow from upland bedrock watersheds, seepage from several area lakes, along with water from irrigation and effluent from septic systems. Close to one billion gallons of water flow into and out of the SVRP aquifer every day. Everyone who lives in the Spokane Valley Rathdrum Prairie area uses the aquifer as their water supply to drink, flush our toilets, water our yards, and irrigate crops. So how does water from the SVRP aquifer get to us? Many northern Idaho and eastern Washington residents access their water from private wells that tap into the aquifer. However, the majority of residents, businesses, and industry rely on public water providers dedicated to providing safe, clean drinking water to the people who work and play in communities throughout the region. Large pumps push the water up and out into a pumping station. Careful measurements are taken to ensure the water is safe to drink before it enters the distribution system. The water is pumped into a tower where it is stored in large tanks that typically hold up to a million gallons. From there, it travels through underground pipes called water mains to our homes, offices, and industry. So after we use the water, where does it go? Water from your sink, shower, and toilet goes down the drains to a wastewater treatment plant where it is filtered, purified, and discharged into the Spokane River. Some residents still use septic systems to treat wastewater. Water goes down the drains into the septic system and is filtered through the soil, returning water to the aquifer. The SVRP aquifer is clean, but our sandy, gravelly soils have a very limited filtration ability. Soil here provides little protection to the aquifer compared with other aquifers where clay or rock layers shield the aquifer from surface pollution. The Idaho-Washington Aquifer Collaborative, or IWAC, is a partnership in shared stewardship of the Spokane Valley Rathdrum Prairie Aquifer and Spokane River Watershed. Together, representatives from both states work to maintain and enhance water quality and quantity for present and future generations. As keepers of the SVRP aquifer, one of their greatest concerns is the detrimental impact surface contaminants have on our shared and vital resource. Stormwater runoff is the greatest potential source of pollutants as it carries a bit of everything it touches into storm drains, which flow into our rivers, lakes, and aquifer. The biggest offenders, fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, leaves and grass clippings from lawn and yard care, dirty water, grease and motor oil from car maintenance, pet waste from dog walking, pool chemicals and paint stored improperly, or that spill and find their way onto driveways and streets, are all threats to our sole source of drinking water, our Spokane Valley Rathdrum Prairie Aquifer. 
Many products we use every day contain hazardous materials that can be dangerous to people, water, and the environment. It's important to use products that are non-toxic and environmentally friendly. Read and follow directions carefully when using any hazardous product. Store products in their original containers and label them clearly. Store products above basement flood level and off the ground in garages and sheds. Never throw toxic substances or their containers in the trash. Never pour leftover products down sink drains or into the toilet. Do not flush medicines down the toilet. Never mix leftover products. Do not dispose of household hazardous waste in streams, rivers, or lakes. And only allow rain to go down the storm drain. Regional facilities in Spokane and Kootenai County accept trash, recyclables, organics and yard waste, household hazardous waste, construction and demolition waste, and appliances. Taking the time to dispose of these kinds of potential contaminants will protect and preserve the SVRP aquifer for all of us. Municipalities such as Coeur d'Alene, Post Falls, Spokane Valley, and Spokane have also stepped up prevention efforts to protect our precious aquifer. In 1985, a major effort on both sides of the Idaho-Washington state line was initiated to reduce septic system contamination of the SVRP aquifer through the installation of piped sewer collection systems. Since then, over 30,000 septic systems have been removed in Spokane County. A growing number of systems utilize a tertiary treatment, a state-of-the-art microscopic filtration technology that removes smaller particles and most viruses and bacteria. Some systems use a final disinfection stage before discharge into the environment. In the future, all facilities discharging to the Spokane River must operate tertiary treatment technology to meet current environmental standards. Local jurisdictions are also utilizing low-lying swales in business and residential landscapes to catch rainwater so it percolates into the ground and slowly releases into the SVRP aquifer. Rain gardens reduce runoff by allowing stormwater to soak into the ground rather than flowing into storm drains and surface waters which causes erosion, water pollution, flooding, and diminished groundwater. Nutrients found in fertilizers can cause environmental damage when they enter a waterway, reducing oxygen levels and impacting vegetation and aquatic life. The Phosphorus Reduction Ban, led by Liberty Lake, has greatly reduced the levels of phosphates from reaching Spokane wastewater treatment plants. This has led to a 17% reduction in phosphorus loading into wastewater treatment plants. The Kootenai County Aquifer Protection District and the Spokane County Aquifer Protection Area are protecting our shared aquifer. These voter-approved laws protect groundwater quality monitor and inspect potential sources of pollution, implement educational programs, and coordinate the work of public agencies to prevent degradation of our precious drinking water and the staggering cost of remedial action. There are many easy ways that residents of Northern Idaho and Eastern Washington can work together to protect and preserve the quality and quantity of water in our shared resource, the Spokane Valley Rathdrum Prairie Aquifer. Here are just a few. Remove debris from storm drains so only rainwater finds its way to the aquifer. Use a broom, not a hose, to clean driveways and sidewalks. Take shorter showers and choose showers over baths. Repair leaking pipes, dripping faucets, and running toilets. Convert older toilets to low flow with a displacement device. Only wash full loads of laundry and dishes. Replace old appliances and fixtures with energy-efficient models. And keep a pitcher of water in the fridge rather than letting the water run in the sink until it's cold. Dispose of hazardous waste properly. Repair auto leaks that end up on driveways, washing into storm drains polluting the aquifer. And wash your car on grass or at the car wash to prevent dirty water from entering storm drains. Do not over-fertilize your lawn, washing harmful chemicals into storm drains. Make sure sprinklers are watering your lawn and not the street. Never water in the heat of the day due to rapid evaporation. Mow grass at a higher setting, which requires less water. 
and replace turf with drought tolerant or native plants. Residents, businesses, and industries of northern Idaho and eastern Washington working together today ensures a legacy of abundant, clean water in our Spokane Valley Rathdrum Prairie Aquifer for our children, grandchildren, and generations to come. <laughs>